Hey folks, it's Pat from Garney RV out in Junction City, Oregon. Uh, just wanted to take a few minutes and introduce you to some new inventory that came in. This is a 2017 396 model Torque Toy Hauler. So uh, take a few minutes, I want to walk you around the outside, point out some of the features and benefits of this unit, and then we'll go inside and see the new floor plan. Uh, first thing, this is a Heartland product, so Heartland products are all rated for year-round use, which is great here in the Northwest, so if you'd like to go over and do your elk hunting and things like that uh, over in Eastern Oregon, or uh, just go into the coast on the weekends, you're going to be well protected and very comfortable in this unit. Uh, fiberglass front cap right here, so very easy to maintain, keep clean. As you can see, it's brand new in here, so we still got all the little bugs that committed suicide, but uh, you know what, it cleans up very easily. Under this side here, you've got your own input 5500. Now, one thing that Garany does as a package is that on a, the larger units like this, we're going to offer them with the built-in generator. Uh, currently, the only one that we don't offer a built-in generator on is going to be the uh, Jayco Octane. So that's a nice step up. So if you're out dry camping, you got plenty of power to uh, take care of your needs. You've got electric front jacks here. You've got uh, manual jacks in the back, scissor jacks. The benefit of this is some people say, well, how come it's not hydraulic or electric? All the way around is when you're on a unstable surface, when you can manually adjust them, you have a less chance of overstressing the unit. So it has its purpose. All you need to do is use a DeWalt drill with a half inch bit and you're fine. Uh, you can use it as a uh, kind of a, a, a adapted motor. So in your unit on the Heartland, you've got propane tanks on both sides for ease of use and ease of uh, of uh, installation and, and uh, deinstallation. So you've got one tank on either side so you don't have a tray that has to slide out or you have to wrestle two tanks out at the same time. On this unit you're also going to have convenient locations of A or jacks, uh, wrenches over here in a, a designated area. And then of course you've got your switch, uh, your battery shut off right there on the other side of the basement. But you've got a, a TPO lined bottom of your uh, basement here so you don't have to worry about scutch, uh, scratches or scuffing or tearing of any type of a linoleum or anything else. Then on the outside, very easy to get to. You've got your cable outlets here, you've got your power sources, water hookups, outdoor shower. Everything is right here in the open right where it needs to be so it's very easy to get set up. One thing I do want to point out is in a Heartland product, You've got a three inch laminated flooring on your slides, inside and in your bedroom. So instead of just being a particle board with a little bit of a layer of uh, astrofoil over it, you've actually got a nice solid, heavy construction. You can hear the difference right there. So the other thing is, is this side of the slide is the same material that's used on the outside. So it's not a just a, a plastic coating or anything like that. It's the same composite. And then around on this side, you got oversized windows, lots of light that gets into the coach. Back here, you've got your, your waste stations. You've got your gauges for your fuel station right here. And then over here, you've got your pumping station. So it's all very easy to get to, very easy to access and use. And again, like I said, your jacks are going to be manual. But they're right here on the very edge here, so it's easy to get to. You don't have to crawl into the unit to try and get the, the uh, jack set. Then on the back here, you've got a double latch. Now, some of these units come out fitted with a, uh, a patio uh, kit, which is basically a cable system that comes down that you can use. The, the ramp is a, 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 a elevated patio if you wanted to. This one, you've got an awning on the back. So if this is not equipped, I have, to be honest with you, I haven't been inside this unit yet, so I don't know if it's equipped with the, the cable kit or not. If it's not, all you need to do is use a couple of floor jacks, get them at uh, Harbor Freight Tools for you know, $19.99 a piece or whatever they charge, and you got yourself a little outdoor party deck. So around this side, you have ease of access to the garage area, and I guess we'll start here. So three-step system in here, and Answering what I stated before, this one is set with the ramp kit. So these cables right here are what you adhere to make this into your ramp kit. So you don't need to buy the jacks like I indicated before. This framework goes around the outside of the patio deck so you've got a nice secure area. Small children, dogs, whatever. Heavy partiers, you don't have to worry about anyone falling out, okay? 
Um, then in the elevated position currently, we've got a queen sleeper with two side by side, two fa four side facing uh, jack beds. So when these come down, they're going to turn into two actual sitting surfaces. And then you've got your ramp right here with your stairs. They go on the very end of your ramp over here to create that whole open party environment. Now, if I could just ask you to kind of trade places with me. Your controls are conveniently located out of the way, up top, by your additional outside sto or, uh, garage storage here. And then this unit has been ordered prepped with washer and dryer hookups here. So if you're an extended traveler and you want to invest in a washer and dryer, we can certainly take care of that for you too. And this particular unit, the 396, is equipped with two baths. Very unusual for a, uh, a toy dollar. Usually you have one and a half tops, but with this one here you actually have two full functional baths. All LED lighting throughout the unit. Very nice neutral colors here. Let me get into the living area. Built-in stairs. Come on in, Quinn. I'll trade places with you. So you got built-in stairs for your bunk area here. This is a great little adventure for kids, or if you are uh, past that stage, you can use this for storage. Uh, what I usually recommend is a couple of the uh, big blue totes or, or anything like that, and use that for storage for your extended stay. And then your kitchen area, you've got solid surface countertop here. Nice configuration. Very nice size sink. It's staged, so it's got two different depths here. So you've got your, your rinse here and your wash here. More storage here. And on the back side of your bathroom, you've got a built-in pantry. So kind of unusual to see, but a, a very nice feature if you like to take extended travels. Compact but functional. Microwave oven. Additional storage, nice deep storage here too, so if you have uh, cookie sheets, things like that that you want to get out of the way, you can store them here or up here. Your hood and range, big enough to do a couple of like uh, Cornish game hens or something like that, or a couple of chicken breasts or whatever, but uh, you wouldn't want to cook Mama's Thanksgiving turkey in there. Again, more overhead storage, great for uh, oversized items, pots, pans, uh, things like that that are... Uh, you know, no more than four inches deep. And then side-by-side -side, Dometic three-way Polar Max 18 cubic foot refrigerator and freezer. Uh, this unit is not plumbed with a ice maker, but you do have the ice drapes. So very functional for, uh, you know, if you're one of these folks that likes to go down to Arizona and spend a couple of weeks doing uh, dune riding and rock crawling and whatever, you can do that. Again, very nice, large, deep storage areas here for things that you don't need uh, on a, a daily basis. Look at that. You got a kid that needs a timeout? There you go. So, uh, oversized 46 inch TV right here. Media storage and your uh, your uh, uh, indicators and stereo system. And then down here, instead of a fireplace, you've got even more storage. So a great use of storage space in this unit. Um, and then over on this side, you've got nice Amish construction on the wood, wood framing of the slide here. Very elegant looking, very rich. LED lighting throughout. Look at this oversized windows here. You've got vented windows so that you have a heartland advantage. What this does is this is going to allow for a cross circulation so that the unit is very comfortable year-round. Again, more storage. And then these are your built-in sound system on either side of your entertainment center. And your theater seating here with the option of having uh, tables installed on posts. So you have a great entertainment center here. Sit up here, watch the game. Everybody's having a good time. Beer is nice and cold. It's all good. Then we get up into here, the more of the living area. And we've got hanging closets here. So you've got plenty of storage. I mean, this is as deep as an average in-house in closet. So already, already set up for uh, your hanging wardrobe. 
So plenty of, uh, of access to that. And then I'm going to trade places here into the bathroom where we have a, what is that, a four, four and a half foot fiberglass tub with a skylight. So I'm six foot, I'm in here, I can do everything I need to do without having to, to crouch down or bend down or anything like that. So it's very easy to use. All the things that you would want in your own home, medicine cabinet for all your belongings. Okay, nice deep dish sink, pedestal toilet, very easy to use. Then we get into the living area here. Now this is a king size mattress, kind of unusual. Yes, it looks a little bit cramped on the sides, but you know what? You got that extra space with a king side versus a queen built-in headboard uh, uh, cabinet there. And then you've still got more storage all the way around. So, I mean, you can bring more stuff than you're gonna need or things that you can duplicate and leave in the coach so that you're ready to go when you wanna go and just plug and play. Um, this is kind of a neat feature here. This is a new ceiling texture line. Gives it a nice, elegant look. It's not that just that white plastic or beige plastic, so it's got a little texture to it. You got your built-in air conditioning system right here. You have an AC unit right here, but you can also control the one out in the living area so that this isn't over your head humming all night long. You can actually have airflow here. But, nice oversized window, so if you're on the coast, just open the window a little bit. Get some fresh air in here. Now, if you're one of those clients that needs, uh, say, a CPAP machine, or you like to have your laptop or your cell phone charging all night long, you have power sources here next to your nightstand. Two-thirds nightstand, one-quarter nightstand over here. And then under here, okay, so this is a pedestal-style bed, so this is, doesn't have under, under bed storage. Look at this. Even more stuff to stash stuff, more places to stash stuff. So you've got plenty of, of cabinet space, you've got deep, full-size drawers, very residential feel to it. More room than you would need if you're going to be gone for just a couple of days or maybe a week at a time. And then over here, you've got a nice area to use as a vanity. Crack that window there, that window there, you've got great cross circulation. You can put your laptop right here, do your, do your da daily business right there. And you have privacy, which is a great feature. So the thing about a toy hauler is that you have access to guests staying in the back. You've got your living quarters up front. You've got your bedroom or your bathroom right here so everybody can use it when they're needing to use it without interrupting each other. So the 396 is a fantastic floor plan. One key feature I want to point out about this. I had a client in yesterday that has multiple toys. Most toy haulers have between a 10 and a 12 foot garage. This is a 13 foot. Very unusual. Usually you go from 10 to 12 to 17 with an open floor plan. So with this one here, if you've got a razor and a couple of quads and you need just a little over 12 feet, you've got 13 feet of actual usable space here with a private garage so the whole coach doesn't smell like fuel, oil, and everything else. So very creative, very useful floor plan. Um, it will not last long. We've had a couple of people inquire about it already. Uh, this is a Heartland 396. I would invite you to go online if you have any questions. Feel free to contact me directly. My phone number is 541-968-3022. Again, my name is Pat Lelong, L-E-L-O-N-G, along with a stutter. And uh, if you have any questions at all or you want to schedule an appointment to do a viewing or anything like that, please give me a call. I'd be happy to help you out if I don't have the answers to your questions because I'm kind of the new guy here. Uh, I've got years and years of experience just beyond those doors. So uh, I can answer your questions for you honestly, truthfully, and entirely. So uh, give me a call. Let me know how I can help you out. Let's put you on the road and get you out enjoying what Oregon has to offer. Again, thanks for your time. Um, hope to see you soon.